Rev up your engines, because today on Carter's Life, I'm testing the cheapest and most expensive go-karts in the world and figuring out which one's worth the money. This is a go-kart showdown you are not gonna wanna miss. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the exclusive 50cc go-kart, that's all they call it. They don't even give it a name. This thing is so incredible, so amazing, so untested. I don't know if, I couldn't find any videos of this thing anywhere. Just awesome photos and amazing stats. 35 miles an hour. It was about 500 bucks. Something really sketchy is happening with these go-karts. I'm not sure what it is, but they're disappearing from the internet. They're all sold out or they just removed the listings and I'm not sure why, but we happened to get one. One of the very few that was ever available. Maybe they are doing like a recall or something. I don't know. There's no information. There's not even a name on them, but we're unboxing it. And I can't, I can't be more excited to get right into this thing. Matt and Andrew haven't slept for days because of this box. And it is finally here. Can Bailey. Can I start filming? We got it. No, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Have you never unboxed it? I'm, I'm a kid in the no, playground. We treat this with respect, especially because if we need to return it, because it doesn't work. I mean, it's Walmart. Yeah. Made in China. Get a little more on your side. Oh, there we go. Right, oh, that green! Boss! Oh, Shrimp Gasoline green! Gasoline engine, we got... That's Carter right there. Alright, this is to give you an idea of what we're working with. Oh, those tires! We got the off tubeless tires. Wait, how are they tubeless? Wait, oh, tubeless, yeah, of course. We got the flag. Look at the size of this tire. This is a big upgrade. This is a strong flag. Like, you the base. This is it, guys. This is the real deal. You've never oh, seen so God. many grown adults be so excited oh, about baby, suspension. Whoa. Yes! Adjustable oh suspension. God. The shots? Are you kidding me? Look I'm at that shocked. chain. Look at that. This is some good Wait, look how small that's. Look how small. We can that's a two-stroke. Oh, this thing's got a power van. No, that's the back. We can that's make good. that bigger. <laughs> We can we can regear. No, we should make that's this bigger, get more torque. <laughs> we make that smaller. We got the this gas way. tank. Look at this little gas we tank. We got the back seat. We got cushion. Oh, you're gonna take those oh, landings. Oh yeah, now we're gonna be. Landing. We're gonna. This is the cushion that matters right here. That's the one you sit on. Yeah. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. Oh my god. This is a on them. This is uh <laughs> this is game over right oh, here, guys. We should have got two. Dude, why didn't we get like five? What do you mean? Your five. phone works, right? No, they're gone. They're, they're gone. deleted off the internet. Oh what? They don't they're exist. Gone. These do don't exist they're online gone. anymore. I cannot find I them anywhere. I'm looking for them. They're gone. Oh, I'm sure that is lightweight. This is to oh, die no. for. It's longer it's too. It's small. actually it's our small. size, Carter. Yeah. We got some good, some good. No more riding a bike shots. Way to go, Jackson. The suspension. Oh, oh look at that wheel. Wait, it's don't tell the horn. Me. What is that, electric start? No. Is that nitro? It's your Lambo. It's your Lambo shift. I'm very impressed, Matt. <laughs> Me too. You can get the crazy thousand dollar shifter cards. You can get the cheap, crappy things. This is like the perfect middle. I mean, we're assuming quality. Yeah, it's untested. But this is like the perfect size, shape, design. It could probably do off-road well. We could change the gearing. We got the jump. We're gonna. This thing's gonna fly. We need to move the jump like now. Yeah. 
go further. It jumps like so good. Yeah. It's yeah, an yeah, yeah. absolute jumping machine. No way. Dude, there's, there's no way. way. There's no way. It's, you know, it's more than we have ever dreamed. You're going to laugh more because Stove hits it. Yeah, Stove hits it. Ryan hit it. Everybody hit it. Yeah, it's unreal. This is not is safe. It? We need a real ramp. Down. No, yeah. this is so safe. Andrew, let's build a ramp like we got tonight. Foam. What the heck? Where are you going? Going to the moon. Joe's going to the moon. What's the best way to like... I, I clip my feet here. Because when you... No, not in there because you can't turn. Well, some like foot pegs. Like here. These are the pegs for now. And just turn, like it, turn it sideways. Like yeah. It doesn't feel right, but I promise. Wait, Carter. I drive like this. Yeah. You saw what he was doing? <laughs> What are you guys doing down here? <laughs> You've been missing out. We were like, shoot, nobody break it before Carter gets down. We're gonna break it before Carter gets down. Alright, let's do it. Whoa! You landed at the end of the ramp. He's doing it again. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I parked it. <laughs> Guys, this go kart is actually unbelievable. This unboxing video just turned into like, I don't even know. We're that literally moto. Well, it says moto on it. That's how you know it's like a motocross. <laughs> we got rear suspension, 50cc. We're not even barely hitting the power band. This <laughs> is the mud monster. Oh, yeah. Cut it over here. Yeah. This is something we've been waiting a long time for, and it is now time <laughs> to take. Whoa, it's got a metal crate. Oh, we are God. doing the unboxing. This is a serious box. Oh, look at the size of the engine. Oh, it's God. huge. Wow. This is some suspension, oh, this is tires. A <laughs> this is a go kart. It's no go kart. It's a mud monster. <laughs> Man, I think we need tools to Unboxing. open the box. <laughs> it's like welded together. I'm impressed. No, no, don't do that. Oh, no. Way. Yo, what is this big boy? Monster. Mud monster. You're a monster? Hey, oh, Ryan, yeah, you got some blood on you, dude. Do I? What happened? Are you good right there? What happened? Am I bleeding in the air? Yeah, right? Oh my god, I am bleeding. We got in a fight earlier. That was terrible. <laughs> Okay, if you guys are new here on this channel of Carter's Life, we did a video like this where we did another unboxing oh! of a different go kart. Right, so that one was pretty awesome, but this one is twice the price, twice the engine one? power, yeah. uh, and it honestly almost looks about twice as big. And it looks like it takes three of a. Oh, I'm hearing bolts fall. 98 cc four-stroke engine, and we're getting the first look at it right now. Look at the size of that sprocket. Oh, it's geared so low. This is gonna be a torque monster. Is this for off road? Oh, Holy moly. Oh, this wait, is like a full yes. lawnmower engine. Look at the uh, gearing. In oh, there. it's got a jack shaft too? The thing is. Bro, oh, it's intense. geared really nice low. Yeah. Wait, it's got, parts. if you guys can see, it goes from the clutch to the jack shaft, from the jack shaft back down to here to this big sprocket to the wheels. That's major. Okay, take a look at the that's spring major. too. This is gonna. Is this gonna send? Yeah, this is gonna be a jumper. <laughs> I don't know what kind of landing we're gonna need to build for this. <laughs> I mean, look at the box. I've never seen anything come in like I've a never box. Seen something come in a metal crate. Yeah, dude, that like, like holds a gorilla. This is gonna be a gorilla of a go kart. Like the last one, for reference, we actually have it torn down. It didn't survive too long. This is the last one. Look at the size of the engine. It's the size of my hand, and that's all it is. From there to there, look how wimpy that is. With itty bitty springs, and then look what we did to the brake. The brake fell off. <laughs> I mean, we basically trashed it, but, but we gotta tire. do a flat. Yeah, hold the tire up next to this go kart. It's half the size of the, this go kart. Look at this tire. Yeah, we're, this is we're sending. We're sending somewhere. We're gonna be jumping the house. It looks like a beast. It looks like a 
like a what does it look like it looks like you know someone's face with the nose chopped off <laughs> it looks like a wild boar yeah like yeah yeah, yeah. It looks it's like got a, like a hefty a stance boar. That's what it looks it's like. got the gas pedal the brake pedal oh is that the brake yeah isn't that it's like insane? a cool like linkage there i've not seen that. look at this it's is literally it? all solid metal <laughs> we got these shocks up front guys check out the suspension <laughs> travel on this thing looks awesome we got the steering wheel on ryan what are you doing over here do you want to work this what are you doing i have to clean up the garden a little bit actually yeah for what for fun try to jetpack around the house yeah <laughs> that would be sick i'm like riding it how do i turn it off look at that adjustable seat wait Oh yes. my god, it's the little things. But we're all gonna things. obviously go full. We're back. on to bigger and better things with a go kart <laughs> like the Mud Monster. Yeah, we're gonna see if he, uh, an adult can actually ride this. I think you got plenty of room. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, oh. that's comfortable. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm in one of these Hummers. You're right basically now. driving like a mini Doom buggy. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. dude, this is gonna rip this so is fast. Gonna be so awesome. ah! Oh, I can't wait, guys. Out with the old little green go-kart that we were launching in with the new front and rear but suspension. I can't believe what that one can provide. I don't even want to begin to believe what this can do. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're going to give you the honest review. We're not going to hold back. If it's great, we're going to tell you. And if it's not, you're going to find out here once we get this thing ripping. Carter, you know what you got to open now? Just the go-kart tech review channel. We're yeah. Review All we do is get go-karts yeah. to unbox them. That'd be sick. All right. Check this out, guys. We have the kill switch right here. Push that in. Boom. On. Off. All right. I'm going to sit in it for the first time. Yeah. Does it have gas? Oh, it's so soft. It's in no it. way. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's like a Send long. Your feet. See if it, the, the sits good. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, easy. Oh, my God. You're designed for this. Yeah, it's a great size, actually. She's thirsty. Guzzler in. <laughs> Absolutely. Guzzling. <laughs> Guzzling. So that's the biggest thing, guys, is this is a four-stroke engine, twice the displacement. You can see how much bigger the engine is. It's huge. The last engine was, like, the size of my hand. It was, like, this all, like a small football. <laughs> It's definitely an off-road machine, whereas the other one could not go off-road whatsoever. Now it's time to... Let's we'll see what Bailey can do. <laughs> I gotta say, the suspension is nice, just bouncing around. You're cruising, bro. Is Whoa, it... all right, Matt. I haven't seen a backflip out of you since Lazar came around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have to put it to off, and then off is on on this cart. No, every day is April Fool. Ready? Let her rip. There it goes, Mud Monster. It's not bad. It's a lot quieter, but it's just, it's still not that, for a gear that low, it, it doesn't, it's like, it's still kind of slow off the start. There he goes, around the pool deck, into the backyard with the Mud Monster 98cc. I want to jump it right into the pool. What do you think? That's, that was amazing. You, yeah. When you remove the govern, Give it to me. Let me get a run. What do yeah, I do? Just, just the just feel drive. of it overall is so much more work. Yeah, the suspension's nice. Is it on? All right, so off is on and on is off. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it is. Really? It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I thought that was a joke. No, it's literally backwards. Yeah. All right. Go, Pronti. Go, Pronti. Here goes Ryan. Yes! All right, so the clip that you guys probably didn't know is that we have a little bit of flashback on the clip of us coming into the driveway. There was a car out front. They were driving by seeing the house being pink and they were absolutely shook that they actually were reversing. When they saw us pull in, they were like, oh, that's their house with the go-kart? Oh boy. Oh my God, when you're on open ground, you can fly. Wow. Yo, all right, someone else, dude, that's nuts. When you're on flat ground, you rip. I need a, a double team. We're doing a, a wheelie sesh. A wheelie sesh? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Bailey, hop on the back for a wheelie sesh. Yeah! 
too hard to balance. I'm too heavy for the back. <laughs> so we just spent the last 15 minutes studying the mechanics of how this works. There's a governor in there, which essentially makes it slower. So we took that off. We think it's gonna work. Let's turn it off, AKA on. Let's pull it and see how it does. No way. Is this actually gonna work? I don't know. I will literally scream if this works. I heard it keep going. <laughs> to the streets! Yeah, I think we need to go on the street. To the streets! I think it should go faster. Here we go. Oh, he's already lost me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't keep up! Whoa! Oh, it goes way faster now, guys. Hang on! Woo! Oh yeah, I feel like it goes 10 miles, oh! I think it goes like 10 miles an hour faster. <laughs> One paper clip gives you 10 miles an hour. What about two paper clips? I'm gonna give them a head start. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. There's Andrew. All right, Bailey's out ahead, I can't get him. I feel like it fell off, so. I think the problem now is the throttle came loose. Oh, shoot. Yeah. See, I'm not even pulling oh, any no. throttle. That's loose. What the heck? <laughs> okay, well, uh, the throttle is too tight now. <laughs> I'm going to show you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> we put the throttle on too tight. Oh, it feels fast. It feels real fast. Yep. Yep. Whoa, boy. Oh, yes. It's so good. We successfully did the governor override, and this thing is ripping. So, Matt and I just hit the kicker. So, it's bigger in the front now, bigger than it's ever been. That is massive. What are you guys doing every time I look away? This is insane. All right, guys. It's going to be a crazy night here on Carter's Life. This is absolutely insane. Gosh, we gotta move it further. All right, you know what? <laughs> you, what is happening? Let me see that Look one. at this. That look doesn't make any landed. sense. Look at look how far you landed. You I, were you didn't even hit the plywood. You were at the end of the plywood, dude. Oh, we gotta get all the way to there. Uh, Wait, you, what you were doing? The landing. You get to put this here. here. Well, yeah. that's, that's what we said last we're, time. We're going in notches. We're this doesn't notches. make any sense. Wait, we gotta start screwing some stuff we're together. Going to here now. We need to bring screws down. We gotta like build a ramp. All right, bring let her it, down. Let it slide. Bring her down. Right, All right, whatever. Here we go. This is this is a this is a new record. Bro. This doesn't look like it should be possible. It really doesn't look it like it should be at these speeds. This doesn't look right. Yeah. But you know, the videos it. don't lie. You gotta give it all you got. This is. I never gave something more of my all than now. This moment. It's so fast. Here it is. Yeah, buddy. Oh! Cleared it by a mile. All the way down there. We just increased the distance again. Look at how far that is. I gotta see it. Oh, I. You gotta hit this thing like razor straight. I'm coming from deep around. Oh, I got it. Dude, it doesn't make sense. You go up the ramp and you gotta <laughs> land over there. Look at the distance. 11, 12, 13 of my steps. And I know 10 of my steps is eight feet. I think we're like 12 feet. And that's just from like edge to edge. He's landing at the bottom. That's true. <laughs> Buckle up. Buckle up. Full sand. Buckle up, kid. Just bust it. R.I.P. R.I.P. I don't know. He might be hitting it. I think that was slow. No, I'm worried. Faster. He's got to go faster. Spool it up. Spool. Go, 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 go. Oh! <laughs> he landed here! You landed 
it here again. That was an absolute <laughs> sender. <laughs> So with that incredible performance, we are inspired to build not a distant ra distance ramp like that one. 18 feet was the uh, final measure, but we we're going to build a vertical one. So for that one, we're not going to be able to stack it on bricks. We're actually going to have to build the full thing. So right into the time lapse. Oh my gosh. Dog. Dude, this doesn't make any sense. Dog. I have to go right now. You have That's to go I'm right saying. now. Wow. I mean, you run up. I mean, you better test it out, I guess, first. All right. We got the setup. We we brought it in, so you can basically just roll over, roll down. So you're testing out a lot of new stuff. So real nice and easy. A lot of new stuff. Right. Test number one. You see how he went and went down? You were talking about going up and then... Yeah, yeah, watch. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just, just wait, just wait yeah, TC. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yo, Matt, watch this. <laughs> oh! I want to we start pulling it, or should we... Yeah, we should have all hit it at this distance, yeah. and then we'll start pulling. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, he landed bottom. Your turn. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, this is outrageous. Oh, 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 oh. Send it. We need fireworks. You go off. Boom, fireworks. A big fireworks. Fireworks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's getting a little cocky. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. This is great. It's <laughs> yeah. absolutely fantastic. Why would you need a dirt bike when you oh, could have so a $400, $500 two-stroker? Let me, let me do the, the short one. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. Phil, you freaking flipped right? you flipped yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. over on flat ground over there 10 minutes I ago. <laughs> I didn't film it, but the go-kart was upside down. He's stuck. Yeah. He's like, ah, ah. He had to run over and flip him over. Like a turtle stuck on his back. So we'll see how that goes. It wasn't even ready. This is why we don't let Phil do stuff like that. It's uneven. It's uneven. Hold on. He's so happy. He's so happy. He has no idea. He almost died. I was like, there's no way he's actually going to hit it. I saw him come like, no Un way. Unannounced. Just coming. <laughs> coming in. Like, Here we go. Woo. I thought he was kidding. Then I cheered yeah, him on. I thought he was kidding. All right, well. All right, we're good. Let's go, Phil. Let's go. Let's go, Phil. Let's go. Yeah! I think it's time to bring her back. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Oh, oh my gosh, right on. Yeah, he literally landed right there, but on that side. Oh, Whoa. he broke it. No, he broke it. All right, so we uh, broke it last time. We reinforced it now. This one, that one. All right. Wish you luck, Bailey. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That was perfect. Bailey, it's easy, right? Yes. It, dude, it's beyond easy. <laughs> they needed that confirmation because he's scared. Again, again. I hope it doesn't collapse on me. All right, here comes Bailey. Wow! Oh, that was really scary down here because I can't see. So Bailey just went off one more time and we just heard wood fall through. Yeah. What happened? Uh oh, that happened. This thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> Honestly, to say the least, we could put the wagon and trailer people. That's what I was saying. Yeah, we can put trailer hitch on the, the go-kart too. Well, we need definitely lower gearing. It's geared high. It goes fast. We clocked it at 31 miles an hour, three different riders. <laughs> it would be nice if it was a little quieter. 
to put an exhaust system. I think we can look that motor and see if we can get parts for it. I think I'm over the weight limit. Very good. Oh, it's so fast. I can't keep up. <laughs> oh, you ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. I'm hoping I can roll home, but who knows at this point. It is all downhill. I'll push you. <laughs> keep it going. Here we go. Yo, that's so funny. <laughs> It goes so fast downhill. I felt like it uphill. It's geared so high that it doesn't stop slipping the clutch until you're going like pretty fast. Yep. yep. That's so funny. Yeah, just pick it up, put it in your pocket. This is my new ride. Uh, yeah, I'm taking it home with me. Backpack strut. <laughs> was it out of gas? No, yeah, there's some gas in there. I'm worried that well. there's something going on because it was sputtering on me yesterday a little bit and then it stopped. Yeah. So I don't know if it got. It might have gas in the air, or air in the gas line. So Carter is about to send it. Oh. <laughs> there goes Matt. He's not impressed. He's driving it with his hand on the throttle of the engine. He's bypassing the governor with his thumb. Yes! See! <laughs> He's got his thumb on it. He's bypassing the governor with his thumb. <laughs> See! He's gonna have such a big grin on his face right now, I just know it. Matt is probably having the time of his life right now. Let's see, let's zoom in, let's see if we can get his facial reaction. Yep, look at that grin, everybody. Yes! Woo! as you went down. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, that is so funny. You're, you. Oh, oh my, my gosh, car. no. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not gonna drive with my arm behind like that. I don't know how you did it. You didn't hold it right there. It, and you saw how low the gearing is, right? You saw that it's like, yeah, it's super stepped, low. and then it steps again. It's super low. Yeah, I kept accidentally reaching back and grabbing the choke. And the brakes are awesome on this. You can lock them up. The suspension's pretty good. I'd like to put like better things in it, but like. Well, that's like, not the suspension part. This is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh! This thing is great. We gotta bypass the governor. It's got so much more to give. Dude, you were like spinning out right there. I, I thought you were gonna hit the mailman. Yeah, I know, I got scared for a second. <laughs> Because you do? Makes, so it's got a governor, which essentially makes it slower for kids. So we oh. have, that was in the background. We yeah. We haven't rigged it up to maximize the potential. So if you just reach back, you can do it. Look at him. You gotta drive. That's what he's driving with a stick. You drive on the back of it? Well, that's where the throttle is. So if you bypass the governor, which limits the speed, you can just bypass it with your thumb and just push the throttle there, and it goes faster. So we'll rig it so you don't have to do that, but for now, you gotta drive it with your thumb. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Where'd everyone go? They're all gone. They're all gone. Oh, he's going so fast, Matt. Slow it down, man. Oh, my God. Woo! Did you get? Here, he by. might have blown up the go kart. It made a weird, like, it was making like a weird. It's I possible. Think the clutch, like, overheated. It's possible bypassing the. It's almost like maybe the governor is there for a reason. Okay. Yeah, it's all. It's possible. It's, like it's like a thought. You, know? you gotta do this. It's a thought. Yeah, it's possible that bypassing the governor is not good for your engine and might blow. It's possible. All right, try it. I think it's. I mean, like, cool off. The engine sounds fine. Then why would it not start? I don't know. Maybe the um, this throttle like doesn't even hardly when pull. I was, every time I've come down this hill, giving it that much gas, it almost sounds like it's starving for fuel. So going, we should, going that fast, so it can't. Guess, if the engine's fine, then it should start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think the uh, maybe put the choke on for a couple pulls. Mm, yeah, it could have been starved for fuel. You hear that tinging, right? Did they do that before? I think he blew it up. I think it ran out of fuel. Because he's running it by holding his thumb on the to bypass the governor. Just yeah, that's why he's yeah. holding it back like that. Yeah. So it's revving a it's lot harder. Yeah. You broke it, Matt. You fried the engine by doing the yeah. governor. You gotta put up. You told me to do no, it. No, you didn't know. Now you gotta put a big old harbor You told me to do it. Yeah, and I'll blow that one up too. <laughs> turbo, 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 here we go straight from Amazon. We have the cheapest gas powered ATV that money can buy. I have what is called the X Pro Storm. It's 125 cc ATV. I paid $879, which isn't super cheap, but for an ATV with front and rear suspension, gas powered disc brakes, we're gonna put it all to the test and see if it's worth it. It's one of the cheapest and smallest ATVs that you can buy. So let's unbox it. Just the crate that it came in is solid. Deal. It's pretty impressive. Ooh, I got the first piece. Look at this. Look at the quality. Solid steel. This thing might actually be pretty legit. It might become my daily driver. Oh, oh, ah. Oh my gosh, we're getting close. I'm so excited to see what this thing looks like. So they really have this thing packaged up. They're gonna make you work for it. Oh, is that a wheel? Check this out. Yes. So I got the orange. They come in different colors, but I got the orange. I think that looks pretty sick. Check it out, okay. The front's cool, but I'm starting to think this looks like a toy. Look at that, look at the suspension under here. Oh, it definitely has the same engine as the Mini Jeep. That engine in there is like a pit bike motor. This thing could be super sick. I wonder if it's got gears, I can't remember. One more tire, roll it out. <gasps> no way, it's got a shifter on the foot. Look at this, you can upshift, but it's got a heel shifter too. That's interesting, I've never rode in anything that shifts like that. Instead of having to push up, you can stomp backwards so you don't have to use your toe. Oh, here's the battery. I didn't read anything. I saw 125cc, I saw Amazon Prime, and we ordered it. This thing could be super sick. It's gonna be electric start, too. It's a little bit heavy. Go a little to your right. Okay. Oh, I got it on something. This is the most important part of the entire thing. Go juice right here. That's liquid gold. This is the last piece, and then it's um, test drive time. Test time. Time to power this thing up. We got light, kill switch on to run. It started up really well, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, just all the throttle you get. I mean, it sounds good. Uh, my throttle is so limited. It's gonna be so it, right? slow. Whoa. That's full throttle. I'm full throttle right now. It's so slow. This is as fast as it goes. We can't even go outside, we gotta fix this. We need to take the governor off. This thing is so slow, and I think it's because this piece right here is like a, a child lock safety governor. So we need to take that out, unscrew it, and I think it's gonna allow us to rev the engine higher, because I'm stuck, and that's all I can do, but it should push way further. We literally put glue on that. We just want it out, it seems like. Take two, with no limiter. Oh! Oh! this thing out of first gear yet and it's kind of quick i'm really excited to see what uh second and third gear feels like this thing is fast 
Oh, it only has one gear. Oh my gosh, I thought I was in first the whole time. It only has forward, neutral, and reverse. It doesn't have other gears. It's just one gear. Okay, so let's see how fast it goes. That's why it's geared so high. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah. It only has one gear. Let's see if it can ride on two wheels. Yeah. Oh, it's great, it's like a bike. We're now gonna try some off-road tests. The next test we're gonna do is an off-road test. I'm gonna go easy on it. I'm gonna do just a little bit of off-road because I think the gearing, since it only has one drive gear, it's not even gonna be able to get me through what's in front of me, which isn't much. It's a little hill, it's flat, and then it's down, and then hill, and then hill. It's kind of like three ditches. Let's see what it can do. Here we go. I don't think it's gonna work, but three, two, one, off-road test. Oh, it did it, it climbed. Okay. And, all right, it actually did pretty good. Now I'm pretty impressed. That was a super, super easy test. I mean, that's like hills that you'd find in anybody's backyard. So we're gonna have to try something bigger, but I doubt it's gonna be able to do the Team Rar Hill Club. We gotta figure out how fast this thing is gonna go. And so next to us, we have Matt on the Bugatti scooter. This thing is fast and it has a digital readout for miles an hour. So we're gonna be able to see exactly how fast this thing can go. It says it should go 24 miles an hour and I wanna make sure that it does or I want my money back. So let's put it to the test. Great. Top speed test, Bugatti versus X-Pro. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's off to a good start. How fast? 10? 15? 20! Matt wins 20. I went faster, so I think this thing probably does go 24 miles an hour. It might actually go faster. It's time for the next test. We're driving across the Team Rar house. We're going from the garages up to the island or the peninsula. And that is where the biggest hill climb is. But while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and test and see how well it does on a dirt trail. It seems like it's doing pretty good. Um, you know, it's not super loud. It's a pretty smooth ride. So I would say this is a pretty good daily. It's very comfortable. We're gonna now do a little bit of a hill right here with some roots and bumps. And oh, it is a little bit bumpy. Oh, oh. Oh gosh, that suspension's a little rough. Oh, it's shaking my stomach up a little bit. Definitely leaves something to be desired, I gotta say. Oh gosh, going across the bridge, and we are now here at the top of the steepest hills that we have in the team row house. And these things are super, super steep. These things literally look like a half pipe that you're dropping into. We use this a lot for all of our testing, and not every vehicle can climb it. And I'm worried that this vehicle this little ATV isn't gonna make it. Maybe with speed it will, let's find out. I'm gonna go the hardest possible route, which is up the steepest right here. Oh yeah, this is gonna struggle. All right, this is a little bit of a brake test on the way down. Oh, and a climb. It actually did pretty good. So now we're gonna go down the steepest part over here by the Lego castle and bring it straight down. Whoa, this is what I'm curious. So this is literally a grass wall. A lot of things cannot climb this. We're gonna see if this. I'm gonna go with a little bit of speed at first. From here, a little bit of run up. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go. I think I got it. Oh, just barely. Oh my gosh, just barely did I make it. I didn't think this thing was gonna be able to do it. I guarantee you can't do this though. Oh. I'm not gonna be able to do it, so that is the limit. The ATV passed the hill climb test with flying colors, but it does have a limitation. Because it only has one drive gear, you can't shift into second and third like the mini Jeep, so you do lose some torque with a little bit of speed. It can climb just about anything, though. On to the next pass, let's go! Because this ATV is so small, we're gonna be trying to drive it indoors and do the inside driving test. So here we go, pulling up to the back of the house. Easy, onto the ramps. Yes! Look at all the room for activities. This is great. ATV in the house. Hi, Elena. What is that thing? World's smallest ATV. Time for a high speed test all the way down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. 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 Yo, that was 
the fastest I've ever been inside my own house. I would say this ATV definitely passes the house test. I was able to navigate the kitchen, the hallway, everywhere, and I can park it right next to the Lambo. And this was really hard to get into the house. I'll show you a little few clips, but we had to do like a bunch of turns. We had to put carpets and stuff down because the tires are so grippy and sticky. I didn't want to damage the floor. But this ATV is way easier and way more drivable in your own house. So definitely tell your mom and dad, if you guys get one of these, you should be driving it in the kitchen, just like me. We came in the back door. Let's see if we can go out the front door. Uh, oh, it's a stair challenge. Oh, it works. Oh, this is awesome. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. In the front door, out the back. So far, we've tested this ATV on the road. We've tested it in my house, but now we need to see how well it does off-road. So let's go to the field, and then let's take it into the mud. Here we go. Big hill climb. Oh! We're here at the Team Rar field, the backyard. And so we're gonna be doing another speed test because Top speed on pavement does not always equal top speed off-road because the grass bumps and other factors make it go slower. Most of the time you're driving this off-road, so let's see how fast you can realistically go on mowed grass. High speed test in three, two, one. This test was a huge success because we were able to go exactly 24 miles an hour, which is what the Amazon listing says. It says it goes 24 miles an hour and we were able to do it on road and off road. On to the next test. Sport quads are known for their jumping capabilities. So let's see if this tiny sport quad can get any air. Full speed. Oh, I jumped it. I gotta say that was actually really impressive. I'm gonna try to go even faster and see if I can pop off a little higher. I didn't think this thing would even go fast enough to get air, but we actually popped off twice. I got probably, what, two inches maybe? Yeah, about two, that was sick, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. All right. You guys Arna. know here on Carter's Life that we love vehicles, we love motorized things, and that's exactly what we have here. And this is no ordinary motorized vehicle. This Ooh, thing- Ooh, I'm not gonna show it, you'll see it. It's a Marla, baby. This thing oh. is gonna be amazing. Dude, it looks nice. Ooh. Oh, oh really should, cool. we, should we show them? No! What? No, 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 no. Don't spoil it, so. <laughs> Varla! Oh my gosh, dude. I will say, it looks very nice. I'm gonna block that off for you guys. Okay. Is it the apple of scooters? We'll see. Lamborghini? Lamborghini of scooters? Oh, this thing is heavy. Is that like a matte black finish? Holy moly, dude. Oh, that thing. <laughs> Barna. Oh, oh. Yeah, guys, this thing. So if you gotta come a little closer, you gotta shift. Oh, now it's time, guys. This, I mean, this is actually really impressive quality. I was not really sure what to expect. Bro, this ain't no toy scooter. <laughs> like a legit boy scooter. I heard the top speed is something like 40 miles an hour or something. No, like actually. Oh, it came with this? It came with a nice toolkit. None of that like wow. crappy stuff. I'm impressed. I gotta say, I really didn't know what to expect other than the videos look cool. Oh. And also, look at the front suspension on the scooter. Oh, bro. They give you a computer. And look at that big they coil. Give you a mini iPad. <laughs> it comes with an iPhone. Wow. <laughs> it has a NFC, I think. A NFC. Oh, yeah. NFC. Okay. NFC. I'm glad we have one of those. <laughs> I definitely know what that is. NPC? Oh, that's you sick. Your phone. Yeah. So you got to pay every time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh it's a little, little bitty. It, it's... That it is so. great, Varla. Sorry, we'll put a train horn on it. What are you, are you putting on the handle over here? Yeah. I don't even need to read instructions. It's so easy. This thing is going to be crazy. Isn't it 40 miles an hour top speed? <sighs> There's no way. Uh, yeah. So this is what I mean with NFC. This is your key to start it. Oh. You, this and you go, bink. That's sick. Yeah. So I'm guessing actually, you have to like activate it or no? It's already just, it's already ready to go. You just go bing, 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 bing. Yeah. Bing. NFC near field communication. I remember I read the instructions. Yeah. So the scooter, the battery is so big that it can take a long time to charge. So you have the option of plugging in two chargers at the same time right here. 
Oh, there's two ports. Yes, yeah, so if you want to charge faster, you can do one or you can do two to go double speed. Ah. Then we give us one more. Hey, hey, you, uh, you excited for this? Have been. Have been? Have what, been. what is that? <laughs> Has been. All right, so where does it say? Now they're saying it's, it goes 45 miles per hour. Earlier, they're saying it's only going like 40 miles per well, hour. I don't know how fast it goes. I, 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 this is my first Varla. Yeah, for, yeah. I haven't dailyed one of these yet. This ain't going to be your last, though, it looks About like. to have been. Oh, there we go. That's where it is. <laughs> Holy moly, guys. <laughs> this is... You're late. Yeah, has been. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> Has been. Well, I'll tell you a little story. Bailey started to say it has, but yo, Bailey, you ready to go? He's like, have been. <laughs> you say it all the time now. I mean, we just got suspension and everything. I mean, this is like this is a dual Marcus motor. And Bailey. So you got a motor. Marcus and you got a motor on the front, motor on the back. Wow. You got hydraulic disc brakes. It's two wheel drive. Yes, two wheel drive. Two wheel with independent suspension, front and rear. Hydraulic two wheel brakes. drive scooter, front and rear brakes, front and rear suspension. So you can off road this thing easily. Yeah, 45 oh, mile range, 45 mile per hour speed. No way. Yes. 45 miles on this is scary. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's. I could probably jump this in the I way. can't imagine 45 miles an hour on this. Yeah. <laughs> There's mean, no way. Beefy though. Uh, we'll see. It's really beefy. Like, I mean, I guess this is the battery pack here. It's huge. Yeah. It is massive. Look at the instructions. It says. Do not ride with one hand and zoom in on that. It's a dude with an iPhone who's filming. <laughs> it's funny because that's 100% how I'm going to absolutely be doing that today in this video. I will be vlogging and writing. <laughs> and texting and <laughs> eating yeah, and everything. Yes, we will. We're going to break every rule in this book on purpose. <laughs> Out of principle. Out of principle. It was actually a really easy unboxing and we are about to plug in the last connection right here. Okay, one more. You got, you got, this is the There's a final touch final to it. Here. There. Yay! Right. Oh! oh. All right, we got 60% charge about one pass, two pass. Oh, maybe that's the power speed or something. Turn the light on. Oh, lights! I mean, I think it's ready to arrive. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, I forgot you hate that. Stove never takes the plastic off. Uh, never, <laughs> ever. Oh, nice. Man, look at the ground clearance on this thing. You can see my whole shoe under it. <laughs> that stands so high up. Yo, this might this might be a new daily. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you the Varla. Woo! This thing is crazy. Oh two-wheel burnout in the garage. I gave it gas. Look at that. Oh, hold up. Did it? Oh! Front wheel and rear wheel drive. Oh, the front is just burning out like crazy. Alright, whip it. First outdoor rip. Yo, he whipped. That's pretty quick. Let's see how fast he can drive by me. Oh, oh my god. Bro, this thing is crazy. You're flying past that. Oh, my eyes are crying. <laughs> it's crazy. How's the acceleration on that thing? It's, this, it's very fast. This is no toy. <laughs> it is like a trampoline scooter. The tra literally a trampoline <laughs> scooter. <laughs> you feel? Wild. There he comes. Oh, oh, hold up. He's actually flying. <laughs> I'm scared to go fast. I need like a helmet. Yo. Really fast. Ah! Hey, Andrew, how fast are we going right now? <laughs> oh, does it show the speed on there? Yeah. Oh. All right, so this is a really rooty section. Lots of bumps and roots. Ah! Oh. It's really bumpy, but it's doing really well. Oh, oh my gosh. I will say, I'm sticking out the top of this roof right now, and I'm afraid that a branch is gonna be right <laughs> Yo, I almost dropped the camera. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah, we're going fast. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that big jump right there. But car is keeping up pretty well, though, not gonna lie. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Taking you guys aboard the Varla just so I can break that one rule on the instruction manual. <laughs> Don't try this at home, I'm a trained professional. Okay, now I'm starting to see why this thing is really fast, but the riding experience is awesome. So far, it's really impressive. The suspension works well. It's a bit bouncy. Uh, maybe there's some dampening adjustments or something. I haven't really looked at it, I was too excited. It's not even a full charge. We just got it right out to get vlogging because it's, I couldn't wait. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. 
So we're gonna go test its hill climb capacities on Team Roar hill climbing hills. Here's what it looks like after riding a little bit. Still looks great. Got a few leaves up in here doing a burnout in the woods, but no problem at all. It looks great. We are now gonna do some hill climbs on some of this crazy terrain, drive over by the underwater car, go up next to the monster truck, and compare how it does compared to the Jeep. Barless scooter versus Jeep. Nah, nah, come on now. Nah. nah. All right, Barla is up first. We got the first. Oh, oh easy. Okay, okay. Easy. All right, let's see the Jeep. Here he comes. Oh, which way is the Jeep coming? Oh, he's taking an angle. Oh, no, he's going straight on. Oh, look how slow he's going. Wow. He's how slow he went and how fast I went. Oh, it's <laughs> like a thumbnail. It is. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to do it. Steep hill climb with no run up. Oh, this is a steep hill. Two wheel drive. Oh, did you see oh. the jump going? <laughs> actually really impressive for a scooter. Look at how steep this is. Yeah! Oh my God. At like a 45 I gotta say, with no run up, it just climbed. It did. The front wheel is a like, two wheel drive scooter. I've never had that. All right, so now we're gonna go next to the underwater car. Uh, next to the underwater car. Oh, down the hill! Down the hill to the second one. Yeah, that's the car. Easy. All right, Jeep's next. Oh, he didn't touch the car. <laughs> All right. All right, last obstacle, hill climb. Oh, oh look at the skin on that. That's a little muddy. Center. Hey, jump. Oh. Easy. Easy. That was really muddy. It's really muddy. That's scary. Oh, Andrew might get stuck here. Nah. I mean, you got to consider, this thing costs 35 times as much as that, so. What would you rather have, 35 of these or only one of those? Oh, wow, that is, hold on. You're saying that went up this steep hill right now? Yeah, I'm going to try it with zero speed. Yo, this hill is actually really I'm gonna steep. I'm going to start, like, worst case scenario at the bottom and see if I can't climb it. Oh, hold on. Because it's wet. Alright, here we go again. Oh, yeah! No, he didn't, but he, he fell at the end. But he made it all the way to the top, though. It is a. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, it's a little bit of a learning curve to drive some, like a bike or, you know, a scooter, like a two wheel thing, where both wheels are driving. It feels different. So it takes a minute to get used to, but overall it's not that bad. Um, but it definitely helps the traction. I'm gonna try that again. Oh gee, I'm gonna get close up of that front wheel. Dude, that looks sick. I, I saw the front wheel here. Going, like going, back and forth. going crazy with it. Alright, all right, here it comes. Here it's all about the balance. Oh. Look at that thing! Oh. Yeah, it's more street tires. If this had less slicks, yeah. it would do really well. I don't even think it's grip really it. Cool. Yeah, they're kind of like... Oh! Whoa! <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Look at the front tire real quick. See how smooth it is? Ah, uh, more of yeah. a street. So this thing's meant to rip really fast. Mm. Like more paved surfaces and gravel. Or wet grass, it's just not going to do as well because it doesn't have the knobbiness of like a dirt bike tire. But if it did, I think it would have no problems climbing all of this stuff, even when it's wet. I think it's supposed to let some air out. Mm. Let a little bit of air out and it squishes more and it grabs the ground more. It's more squishy. Yeah. Hard, so it's made for speed. That makes sense. Smooth speed. Right now it's it's too uh, over... Firm. Yeah, too over pumped. Now here comes... Oh, this... Oh! Yes, sir. <laughs> Into the lake. Comment down below if Carter's gonna get some air on this ramp right here. If he's gonna get any. Here he comes. Oh, okay. He got like, like that much? Just like maybe like an inch? <laughs> yeah, you gotta commit. Oh! I don't think you're, you're full throttling right now. Oh! <laughs> okay, I think committing is not a good idea. Guys, I will say, Carter did have like probably like two feet of air, but I just missed it. That was that was totally my bad. I don't think it's a good idea to commit to the jump right now. It's kind of scary. I need a little bit more time to warm up on this thing. The size of it just feels way more substantial than your regular scooter. The beef, the heft. I mean, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff. There might be some other adjustments with the suspension that we can make as well, based on like rider. There's a lot to learn. I don't want to crash on the first episode, guys, because that would be viral, like all these other videos. And I don't want to get too many views on the very first video I film. I mean, come on. I'm not about like a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
we got a Bugatti scooter and the world's fastest and one of the most expensive scooters and we're gonna be putting them to the test. We're gonna see what is faster, a Bugatti scooter or this crazy two-wheel drive Barla scooter. This thing's got suspension in the front and the rear, disc brakes, two-wheel drive, which means the front wheel is driven and the rear. And then of course we have the coolest scooter I think ever created. And this is literally a product of Bugatti, guys. It's actually the cheapest Bugatti that you can buy. I believe this one is one wheel drive, but it's literally Bugatti, which is the coolest part. Amazing Bugatti branding all over it. To power this thing up, pretty sure it even has a Bugatti light. Yeah, look at the Ooh. tail light. That's the Bugatti logo, that like EB. Bugatti. <laughs> and then you're probably wondering what the heck this thing is, because if you look how big it is, it is huge. It's got crazy suspension as you bounce on it. And this was sent to me by Varla. And this thing is like a motocross bike of a scooter. It is bigger, it's heavier, it is beasty, and it goes really fast. Oh, lots of suspension at the trampoline. So let's take these outside and put them to the test. We got Bailey on the Bugatti. Then I'm gonna rock the Varla. We're gonna do some tests now. I think first up, we gotta figure out how fast these go. For any vehicle that you get, you always wanna know how fast it goes. And this thing claims a top speed of 45 miles an hour. I don't think any of us have been brave enough to try it. And the Bugatti's pretty quick too. Uh, I don't remember what the top speed claim is. It might be 25, it might be 35. But either, regardless of what they say, we're gonna put them to the test. And we're gonna see, right now we got a speedometer here. So we record on the GoPros. We should be able to keep an eye on the top speed. I think that tells you speed too, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to the street for the first test. Oh, woo. The car is going fast. Okay, I gotta follow them behind in the gator because they're going way too fast. I can't sprint that fast. Look at them, I'm already in position. Oh, it's so wet over here, Stove. Are you gonna get stuck? It's two wheel drive, so I think I'm all right, but. Hey, I'm all right. hey let him keep you. doing that. He's gonna waste his battery and then I'm gonna win this challenge. Easy. He's gonna make it slow. My gosh, is it wet. Bugatti scooter versus the world's fastest scooter. Let's see how it compares. Down to the end of the driveway and back. And back. Yeah, you ready to lose? All right, three, two, one, go! Uh, oh, was I supposed to start? Or you were supposed to go. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm going! Woo! Oh my gosh! Come on, Scooter, go! 11 miles, 12! Oh, and they're off. Wow, hold on, car. Oh! That's why you gave him a head start. It's so fast! Smoked him. He gave him like a three second head start on that too. Too easy. Guys, comment down below how fast you guys think they can get from there to here. Carter gave Bailey another head start. Three, two, one, go! And he's off. Let's see if I can still pass him. Here we go. Yeah! Oh! Oh! oh. And Carter is. He even gave you like a five second head start. Bro, that thing has definitely got to be rigged. I don't know. Maybe this might be the most expensive, but it's definitely not the fastest. No way. Yo, this thing is actually a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> so quick side by side race. You can see how just how much faster this thing is than the Bugatti. And Bugattis are fast. I mean, it's literally built by Bugatti. So now let's go out to the street and do a one at a time top speed test and see how fast the top speed is. And then we'll compare. Woo! All right. Guys, I'm trying to beat Carter to no! Oh my gosh! So fast. Literally, it was a blur on the screen. Not only is this thing super fast, but I can. Oh! oh. Hold up. Hey, I can do the same thing too. What? Can you? Oh! Oh! oh. Wow, that was pretty cool. But now we're going to do an actual speed test. Bailey's on the blue Bugatti. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, the coolest part about that thing is it's literally a Bugatti, guys. If you own one of those, you can go to school, to work, tell your friends, whatever. You own a Bugatti, because it's literally a Bugatti. It's two wheels, and now it's not a car, but like, it's still a Bugatti, so it's pretty cool. And it has a Bugatti blue, too. <laughs> yeah. You know. All right, so just make sure you can see your top speed. We're gonna do a speed test from the top of the hill past the driveway. Bye, man, let's go. I'm going. Look at him kicking off. Get some more speed. It looks slow, but let's cut to his angle and see how it looks. Oh! 20 miles per hour! Here we go, we got the Bugatti scooter. Wow! That's actually kind of moving. That was pretty quick, not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I'm really, if that looked pretty quick and this is faster, how fast is this gonna feel? All right, what was it? 15? Oh, 
I honestly don't know how fast I was going. I started tearing up. I couldn't even look down, but I think it was over 20 miles per hour for sure. Over, over 20? Yeah. Powering up. All right, I'm going to go to the top of the hill, get ready for my speed test. I think it's going to be at least twice as fast. All right, guys, Carter's at the top of the hill right now. There's Let's no see way. what his top speed is. There's no way he's beating my top speed. No way. Here we go, guys. Varla top speed test. That's 15 already. That's 20. He already said 20. 30. Yo, he is flying right now. Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh. I don't know how fast it was. Oh my God. Yo, he was flying down the road. You look like a flying star. What the heck? You might have even gone triple your speed there. Bro, dude. I, 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 I can't even speak. He's he broke speechless. the sound barrier. He did. <laughs> we gotta check the footage on that. That was crazy fast. Oh, 45. That was definitely 45. That is quick. Look at him with his bright jacket. I hit 45. <laughs> you hit 45? For, for sure, I saw 45 on the screen. Oh, wow. Scary fast. And once you get that fast, then you start to start wobbling. Get closer to getting speed wobbles. But for me, I handled it just fine. Oh, wow. 45, and I think Bailey hit 20 of a top speed, so. More than twice as fast. This is like two and a half Bugatti squished into this thing. It's crazy. I mean, it's two and a half the size, too, so. We're taking these two off-road and the next test is a hill climb. We're starting small. This is a very small hill, but it's pretty steep. We're gonna see if I can climb it. Oh. Oh, straight up like an escalator. It felt like I was just like at the mall climbing to the second story. I Easy. Don't think the Bugatti's climbing. Oh, I, I'm making a path so when I come up this hill, I have a clear, nice runway to go. Oh, I see the path. So I just gotta follow that path and I should be fine. So yeah. Bailey is trying to climb with the Bugatti right up here. All right, three. Two, one. Bugatti's taking some speed into it. Oh! oh. Easy. <laughs> Haggle. That was actually really impressive. I didn't think it was going to do that. The Bugatti actually might be pretty decent off-road. Let's go to a bigger hill. Oh. This next test is to finish the hill climb test. We got the biggest hill here at the Team House. We climb everything up here. We've done the little mini monster truck, the Hummer, the underwater Hummer. So we take everything up and down. Not everything always makes it. And we're going to see if the Varla two-wheel drive can make it or if the Bugatti can. He climbed the other hill with the Bugatti, so let's drop in and see what happens. Ooh. Oh, first, I mean, the first test is the drop in. Yeah. I think I can survive that, but. You guys, they're so high up right now, yeah. I, I guess there's no way around it. Three, two, one. Bugatti drop in. Ah! Ow, not bad. I made it. Let's go. Marla drop in, no brakes. Well, that was easy with the suspension. Easy. All right, I'll start with the hill climb. So you can go back up? Yeah, to make it fair though, I'm gonna do zero run up. Okay. I'm gonna start here and just do raw power and traction. Oh, wow. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't go up. Wow. I can't believe it. It actually, um, it didn't lose power. It just started to slip. I gotta keep my weight on the front, I think. Three, two, one, go. Is gonna go? Is he gonna go? Oh, I lost power. Oh, wow. Maxing out the torque. Start sliding. I'm failing an off-road test. I'm gonna have to just do maybe... You're gonna run up. Need a run up. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Got it. Yep. Oh, barely. 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 I need 10 feet of run up. Honestly, if that Bugatti scooter makes it at all up this hill, it would be shocking. Prepare to be shocked. Are you starting from the other top? <laughs> I'm dropping in. I don't need no stand still run up. I'm just gonna do it. From up there? Yeah, I need I need speed, obviously. Alright, is it gonna work though? Is it enough? Alright, Carter's life, comment down below. Bugatti, if you think it's gonna work. I pray it is. Alright, three, two, one. Run! No way. It's like halfway up. I'm stopping where I actually got off. That's pretty impressive. More than halfway. It looks like it's zigging in. this thing's not an off-road scooter, that is definitely impressive. All right, we'll try it again. I think you might get it. All right, and three, two, one, go. Push. Full throttle. Oh, yeah, push. Full, full, full. You got it. <laughs> Same spot. I told him what to do to make it work. He didn't listen. Oh, 
I need thrusting. <laughs> oh my god, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is <hell's> so sick. <laughs> Round three from the chest cam Ooh. with a Bugatti with a boost. Oh, what's, what's, what's going on here? He needs a boost. The Bugatti just needs a boost. So, what rhymes with boost? Carter Share. <laughs> uh, Mr. Life. Mr. Boost. All right. You ready? Wow, that was, he has a very long run up right now. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Push. Got the boosters on. Who got him with the boost? Oh! Same spot. No, I'm higher. Look, I'm actually standing where I can actually be almost flat. So the boost worked, but not as well as it got. You're close, though. I did get the operator error. Watch this first try. Oh, he's That's calling it. In. Wrong. Hashtag Carter's not going to make it right now. Oh, this thing is so slow. Yeah, no kidding. You're used to a. A bar low. Let me go on the other scooter. Hold on. Okay, this time Car is gonna try on the Bugatti scooter to get the run up, come all the way up, and Bailey's back on the Varla. I mean, that's easy. Dude, that felt crazy. Let's see it. <laughs> Did you make it? Wow! First try, say it was a user error there. Bugattis or, or scooters, what, that's what a scooter is, you push. <laughs> push it, man! Alright, well, I mean, it doesn't have the raw power of the double two-wheel drive Varla, but uh, I gotta say, the fact that it was even thinking about climbing that hill, actually impressive, because there are four-wheel drive vehicles that don't climb this hill. Like, the golf cart for sure didn't climb I mean, this. it drives downhill easy, too. I thought it was gonna sink in the mud at the bottom, but it was completely fine. It's got no suspension. It's only one-wheel drive. It's way smaller. <laughs> and it's literally Bugatti. Next test is the suspension test. Let's check out the Varla. Look at that. Oh, wow. Woo! Oh, yeah? Let's check out mine. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's hard. <laughs> We're gonna be going down the Pine Root Trailhead. This is a beautiful path next to the lake, but it's got roots like crazy. It says all about suspension. So let's just, uh, let's run it. Oh, Starting off with a drop. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not built for this. Ooh, it's actually great. It's pretty smooth for me, honestly. Oh, that was a big one. Except honestly, you guys are doing pretty so well. We're gonna get worse here in a second. Hey, Carter, I bet you can't get one hand like me. Ah! You're not gonna want to when you realize. Oh my god! Oh. Look at this, I can pop. You're like, oh, oh, the on this. This suspension is like a trampoline. I can do tricks. This no. is no trampoline. It's the worst. Oh my gosh, Carter, I'm saying it's the worst. <laughs> Scooter I've ever taken off. Oh, oh this is the hardest section oh right here. My gosh. Ow, ow, oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. You actually did pretty well. Dude, this is so hard. I have to go fast, otherwise I'm not gonna make this hill. You got a little Come on, kick it into third gear. Oh my gosh, oh, Bailey's oh my actually God. going pretty fast now. This thing's not made for outdoors, like on this terrain. It's made for. Oh, uh, like gravel. I gotta say, for as non-off-roady as the Bugatti scooter is, it actually did really well. That trail is hard for like ATVs to go down because it's so bouncy. This did great. That did surprisingly, I didn't think it was gonna make it. I, I have a harder test for you, Carter, actually. I don't know if you'll be able to do it with this first try, but I almost did. You ready for it? What are you talking about? Here, follow me, follow me. Uh oh. This next challenge Bailey invented, it's called the Pebble Challenge. We're gonna see how far we can drive across this very loose gravel of pebbles. And the answer is not very far, but let's see which one can go further. You ready, Bailey? Oh, of course. Are you ready? Duh. Let's go! Hashtag Bailey's got a win right now, round three. If you win, subscribe to his channel. Go. Woo! Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Okay, oh. easy. Yo, that was crazy. You saw all the rocks just blast everywhere? I mean, you flew by me Yo, on Carter's that. Carter's not making that, y'all. Watch. All right, in three tries, I make it, though. Yeah, three how tries. Three, three tries. tries. From the chest mount. Okay, so the strategy for this one, it's a little bit about speed. It's also about tire width. The tires on this one are skinny. They're good for the road. It makes it go fast. It makes it very efficient. It makes the range good. The other one that Bailey's riding has got juicy tires, and that makes it float over these rocks. So I got to be light on the feet, but I got a strategy. All right, here they come. Car has three tries for this. See if he makes it. Oh Whoa. my God, I almost hit the camera. All right, that technique's where you start, because I tried that too. That was, he almost actually made it. All the way, almost. All right, <laughs> really impressed. remember I get three, so that means I get two more and I almost made it. Ooh, so it could be user error over there. Second attempt coming up, see if he makes it. Second attempt, here we go, ready? Oh! 
gonna say, it looked like you were just kind of wheeling it there, yeah, but the foot did come down. He has to do one more All attempt. Right, one more attempt. Can't let the foot. No foot. I never did. True, true. I was gonna say. That was a good attempt, though. I'm not gonna lie. But if he didn't have his foot down, I would have called that as a pass, but. Third attempt. It all comes down Ooh. to this. Last and final try. Let's see if I can't make it all the way across. Carter, if you, 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 if you don't put a foot down, I'm going to be impressed. Super impressed. I always impress Bailey. Look, come on, guys. <laughs> hit that subscribe button right now. We're about to hit this. Come on, Bugatti. Look at that little emblem right there. It's beauty. Luxury. Come on. You got this. Send it. <laughs> the end guys right at the end he put his foot down right there Woo! you guys know that i love lamborghinis i got one here i got another one there and other crazy cars but today bailey is about to learn as well as you guys Woo! that i got another crazy thing to add to the yeah. collection i heard it was a rumor but i have to see it with my own eyes because i don't think it's even true it's just like this the this little cyber crazy. quad this is cool but it's a, it's a vehicle like this but it's even cooler and it starts with a b uh, is it a Bailey mobile? <laughs> it's a Bugatti baby. No, you don't. Yeah, it's a Bugatti. Where? I literally just got a brand new Bugatti, and it's not clickbait. It's legit. It's a real Bugatti, and it's the cheapest Bugatti that money can buy. Really? Cheapest in the country. How much? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's go check it right, out. Well, I'm going to drive this Tesla over because I don't believe you. He's driving the Cyber Quad. I'm going to drive my ATV with the new rims. Going the wrong way. We gotta go to this garage. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know that I love crazy, rare, and ridiculous rides. That's why this Bugatti is next on the list. But of course, I got a crazy monster truck. This thing is amazing. It literally crushes cars. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. But we're definitely moving up in life with this next one. And we're pulling up to the garage where it lives, in here. We're getting closer. All the way up. In this garage, you guys will see more of our crazy cars. This one's Andrew's. This one's Matt's. This is Hunter's. And then I got a dirt bike. And then these two are Matt's. This car is Matt's. And then this one is one of my newest ones. I'm not even sure if I've even shown you guys this one, but this is a brand new little turbocharged mini rally car. Of course, we got the little red wagon. We have another race car. This is Matt's. And we are moving one. We're actually getting a lot closer to the Bugatti right now. We got Liz's new mini Jeep there. Another car that we're working on. Carter, where's this Bugatti at? I, I don't see any Bugatti anywhere. There's a Bugatti, a real one. And I'm not even clickbait. I literally got it from Bugatti official the actual place, and uh, it's right here. Check it out, this is it, legit Bugatti branding. And the first thing you're gonna know is that it's a little bit small, and it's not a toy, this is a le legit Bugatti, but we gotta open it up. There's no Bugatti in here, No, at all. 100%, it's a real Bugatti. Carter, you can't drive anything in here this size. It's a legit Bugatti vehicle, I promise. I'm not even capping. Let's go open it up and see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, I'm seeing something crazy. Oh, look at that box. That was just a shipping box. This is where all the magic happens. Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy Bugatti. Carter, I don't think you can pull it out. Oh, look at that arm muscle going. Uh, yes, sir. Been hitting the raw gym. She oh, Bugatti oh. scooter? It's a Bugatti scooter, but legit Bugatti branded. Guys, this isn't like some kind of toy or replica. This is actually made by Bugatti. Look at that tint right there. Ooh. So that means I am literally a proud owner of a Bugatti. Not a car, but a two-wheel electric scooter. And it even has got the logo that projects. Look at that. What? I, I don't believe it until I see it, you know? We gotta keep unboxing it. I'm actually hyped. I bought this like, as soon as they released it, I jumped on it because they're gonna sell out. Wait, how long ago did you buy this? Like two months ago. Sheesh, took a while. I was one of the first people to buy one of these. Because I figured it was going to sell out and the price is going to skyrocket because they're limited oh, they're edition. Oh, they're hype. Yeah. How many were made? I don't know. Y'all, someone on the YouTube video, find out how many of these are made and comment down below because I want to know. This looks rare. Hey, don't damage the box. Cause... I, already, I already did. No, already Carter. It's like if that was a real Bugatti car, you know how much money that would have been? It would have been like 100 grand off <laughs> the box ripped. Oh. oh that blue. Stove. <laughs> stove. You're missing out. Oh. I'm pushing out on this side. Oh, oh that broke my heart. That's 
$50,000. Oh, I just lost 50 grand in value. I broke the box. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, oh my body. gosh. Look at the Oh god. That sticker's probably worth like a hundred dollars. Yeah, let's preserve it. Let's get it get it off get it off strategically. Yo. I gotta put this We gotta put this something. Put it on one of the cards. Oh I should put it on my red I, one. Yeah, no, put it on the, the the turbo, the new one. Right on the front. Let them know it's a Bugatti. Mini Bugatti? <laughs> I was it's thinking it would like, go right oh there. My gosh, it looked terrible. Bugatti. Bugatti. <laughs> It kind of looks real. This box is legit crazy. I've never seen a box just like this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, no way. Woo! This unboxing experience is insane. It's a plot. A work of art created and engineered to deliver a new oh, wave of mobility. No. Dude, I can't blow in a daily drive of Bugatti around the house. This is crazy. Oh, oh, no way. Time to take this box out, see what's in this. I wonder if there's like an instruction manual. <gasps> oh, yes. comes with a Rolex? Check it out. <laughs> it says, a work of art created and engineered to deliver a new wave of mobility and a transit revolution. Let's see what this, it's the owner's manual. I literally have a Bugatti's owner's manual. Authenticity certificate card. That means this Bugatti is 100% legit. I'm about to blur this out so you guys can't copy it. But guys, I am officially in the Bugatti family. We got some tools in here. This has got to be the charger. It's just a high quality box, Carter. It is. Came from Bugatti. And here is the actual Bugatti itself. Oh, I can't scrape it. Don't scratch the new Bugatti. It looks like it should be pretty straightforward to put together. I mean, Carter, you've built robots in the past. Yeah. So I think you could build a Bugatti scooter that's already built. Just putting it together. <laughs> it's got the letter B on it though, look. It's got the B. It's got the B for big bands. Oh, don't break this. <laughs> That's a lot. Do y'all see how many holes that was? Look at that. Sheesh. Looks like a Ritz cracker. Carter, the real question is, does it feel like a Bugatti? I think it does. The build quality is insane. The paint is actually- How are the official? handlebars? It's official Bugatti blue. It's got the velvet handlebars. Actually, I actually seen that they have turn signals. That's what it looks like. I'm looking, it looks like a Yeah, and on there. the back I have like, like blinkers. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think I gotta put two bolts in. So I got an extra screw. I'm not reading the manual, so I don't know if that's extra or I'm supposed to put it somewhere. But I got all, all the carter, does in. it not go in here? I think that's supposed to be a quick release latch. Uh, oh, you got the Bugatti rims? Oh, don't sleep. It's time, baby. Kickstand up. Power on. Pull that sticker off so you can read. I gotta say, long press, one press, headlight function. There it is. The hologram. Yo! Wait, put Bugatti on my foot! Ah! Ride it in style, baby! It looks like we have a good charge. Let's give it a little little test. Solid bell. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I'm moving. Right, car is going kind of quick right now. I think this is way too fast for the garage. Oh! <laughs> That's not too fast. Yo, it's quick. We gotta go outside, I think. This thing might go fast. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Car hey, guys, comment down below, Carter. Stop being scared. Just yeah. rip it in the garage and send it. Oh. 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 She's gone. Here we go. Oh, Carter, that does not look that fast. It doesn't look that fast, or maybe I'm just blind because he does have a lot of land going that way. So I'm going to have to really feel for myself to let you know if it's fast or if it's slow. Oh, let's see. Woo! All right, well, you know, you know it has to happen now. I have to <laughs> sling it. All right, send it. There goes Bailey. There he goes, ripping the Bugatti. <laughs> First time ever touching or driving a Bugatti and it's in my backyard. There he is, it's Bugatti. Solid. Yes. Beautiful blue Bugatti. The blue with the green, I know that pops. I gotta say, I thought it would be like crazy, super fast, but it's not. It's just about regular speed. I mean, it goes pretty quick, but it's no like 100 mile an hour scooter or anything like that. It's just Bugatti. It looks amazing. It's got the Carter, logos on it. Why was our way to left? What? If I want to go right? Blinkers, go left again. Ooh, we got the blinkers, got blinkers. We got the tail lights. Yeah. It's definitely got some cool features. I think it looks amazing. The aesthetics, the unboxing experience was totally worth it. 
but it's not like 100 miles an hour. It just goes just like a, your regular bird scooter or it electric scooter. It is good scooter. for jumping, mostly. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, you can't jump that. Yeah. It does fold down so you can put it in your trunk. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you want to be like the fashionable scooter goer, I mean, I guess that's the move. Bugatti is definitely the best you can get. It's so yeah, sick. and in the Team Mars shirt, it makes it pop. And in front of that sky, Woo! looks photoshopped out here. Woo! 